Are you exhausted, <laughs> unable to focus, inefficient? Do you suffer from brain fog, forgetfulness? Have you or someone you know come down with an unexplainable neurological disorder that has not been effectively controlled with medication? If so, you may be suffering from mercury toxicity. Those silver-colored amalgam fillings we have all had as children are 50% mercury. Mercury is a known reproductive neurotoxin under Prop 65 in the state of California. The periodic table of elements in basic chemistry show mercury to be the second most toxic material on the planet. Despite the piles of research presented to the California Dental Association and the American Dental Association, they still claim it is safe to put mercury in our children's mouths. Why? Because they have done so for the past 170 years. Dentists say there is no research to say mercury is not safe, but no one has proven that mercury is safe. It has never been clinically trialed by the Food and Drug Administration. It is only classified as a medical device. It is regulated by OSHA, the Agency for Occupational Safety and Health Hazards, as a toxic material before it goes into our mouth and as a toxic waste when it is removed. Do you really want your mouth or your child's mouth to be used as a biohazardous waste container? If you've ever had a silver amalgam filling, you could be at risk of mercury poisoning. If you are sick and tired of being sick and tired, remember, get the facts. <laughs> Something shouldn't be recycled. <laughs> Most of the evidence that we evaluate biomaterials with come from animal data. Animal studies don't count. Uh, what I'm trying to do is put it in the context of how uh, FDA regulates products. We, we do not assess the environment. We do not assess the effect of, of, of pure compounds and absolute toxicity. You, you do agree. We look at how they're, how they're used in practice. You, you do agree, though, that mercury vapors leach out of the tooth. Yes, we do agree with it. And, it, and, and that it is in, ingested into the body in part. Yes, we do agree with And it gets into the bloodstream. Yes. And it goes to the brain yes. and other organs of the body. Yes, we agree with it. And uh, uh, mercury uh, has a cumulative effect in the brain. Yes. You know, I don't understand why the many people in this country, probably the majority, don't know that there's mercury in a in a silver filling in their mouth and amount of. Why is it the FDA doesn't at least, uh, since mercury vapors do escape into the into the mouth and into the body, why doesn't the FDA at least uh, uh, make people aware of that? Well, why, why not Why not publicize that? If we didn't have mercury in our fillings, would this be a problem? Of course not. That's the answer. If there's any question about the safety of mercury in your mouth, why not get it out? If there's any question about the safety as far as food treatment plants are concerned, then why not get it out? If there's any question about the thermal effect and getting into the environment where we breathe it, then why not get it out? If there's any question about it getting into the waterways, then why not get it out? The only question is the same thing about the pharmaceutical companies as far as the commercial and the vaccines. It's money. It's money. And it's unfortunate that the safety and the health of the American people comes down to the dollar. Because you know if there's any question about it, you ought to get that substance out of there. That's the question. You ought to get it out of there. With that, I really, really appreciate you being here. This will not be the last hearing we're going to have from hearings around the country on this subject. And uh, I hope that someday we'll see these things very very I want to thank my friends for Thanks a lot. What's going on with our health agencies in America? And it, it makes one wonder if maybe the pharmaceutical companies don't have undue influence on uh, on our uh, our uh, health care and on the health uh, uh, care industry. How can anybody who knows they're putting mercury in your in other people's mouths not know that there's a risk? I mean, that just I don't understand that. And our health agencies in this country are sitting back on their haunches, not doing anything about it. Get some of those scientists over there who are. A little slow on the uptake to get on the ball. Tell the truth. I think well, they all know. Well, at least start looking. They know. They, they know. Somebody, they know. You know. They're afraid of something. You know. A guy sees a golf ball coming between his eyes. He knows he's going to get hit. Dr. Kelly, thank you so much for having us in your home. The Open Your Mouth Tour has been on the search to find out if mercury 
is the root of our chronic health problems, and we're here to find out what you have to say about it. The, the major mercury amount of mercury in body burden in humans comes from the mercury vapor that comes off the dental amount. Bottom line is mercury is toxic to the human body. Every function that's ever been observed of mercury in the human body or in a mammalian body has been very negative, but mercury is toxic to all of us. It's just that it affects some of us much more than others. The American Medical Association's job is to protect the health of American people from systemic illnesses, and they've fallen flat on their faces. They have not addressed this. They have said, it's in the mouth, it's a dental problem, medicine doesn't have to worry about it, and see if nothing that happens in the mouth can cause any illnesses to anyone else. You know, to say that mercury doesn't get into the body, that mercury doesn't contribute to uh, certain diseases in this country, is just absolutely a ridiculous position for anyone to take that reads. You can take that only if you're totally ignorant. What's an acceptable level of mercury? Zero. You know, if you can detect it with a mercury vapor sniffer, that would be the lowest amount that's there. Well, we would really like you to show us um, the, the mercury vapor tester machine and, and make sure that we are getting the, the most accurate readings that we can. And so we're just now reading the amount of mercury that's, you know, running around the room to see where it sets. And see, this really should come out to be zero. So you're point zero zero nine in this room. Remembering that number, point zero zero nine, that's really pretty low. We can take this and place it in here. Next to the amalgam, go and hit sample. Zero point five eight. Whoa! Whoa, wait. Can we just, we gotta see that, you guys. It went from point zero zero nine. Point zero zero nine to point zero five eight. Now we're going to say the dentist took his little pick and, and scraped around on his amalgam filling, so I'm going to lightly scrape on that sample this. May not be close enough. Though. Seven one three by just scraping on it a little bit with a wow, film. I'm mad again. Let's go get him, kids. Direct from your nation's capital, this is Inside Washington. Inside Washington. Inside Washington.